by the way, despite what a lot of people might think, I don't just call scammers for a living. I have like a lot of other things I have to do. So although this is fun and I love putting these videos out for you guys, I need you to know that this is not all I do. <laughs> just, just to clarify. Okay. Now first in line and will be answered by the next available representative. Thank you for your patience. Thank you for calling support. This is David. How can I help you today? Hi, David. Yeah, I, I was just having some issues um, with my business page on Facebook, and I was just wondering if you guys could help me. Is that okay, something you can help? I will help you out. Could you tell me? Your... Yes, ma'am, definitely. I will help you out. Could you tell me your first name and last name? Sure. My name is Judy Smith. That's J U D Y. Mm -hmm. And then the last name is just like it sounds. Let me know if you need me to spell it. Yeah, you don't need to worry. I will check it, ma'am. Okay. Just give me one minute, okay? You can hear other people. All right, ma'am. So, what I will do, I will simply connect you to the secure line, verify your account, and immediately whatever the problem you are facing on your business account, that will be shorted out, okay? Okay. So step by step, I will do that for you. So, put my call on a speaker. Okay. And which phone you are calling right now, ma'am? Is it an iPhone or it's an Android? It's an iPhone. Okay, so in your iPhone, simply go to the App Store, APP, the regular App Store. Okay. Hit on search and put it there. Any desk, ma'am. It's a one word. Let me spell it for you. It's A as an Apple. N as in Nancy. Y as in Yellow. D as in dog, E as in elephant, any desk, S as in Sunday, and K as in kilo, any desk, it's a one word. Okay. Now install it. You will see any desk remote desktop, like a red color application with a white diamond. So install it. And once it gets installed, please let me know. He wants me to install a remote desktop. I don't want to do that because then he's going to have access to my phone if I give him access. And that would be really bad. I'm just going to keep him waiting on mute and see what happens. I wonder if he'll get angry or be patient. In the meantime, I'm going to do some other work. By the way, despite what a lot of people might think, I don't just call scammers for a living. I have like a lot of other things I have to do. So although this is fun and I love putting these videos out for you guys, I need you to know that this is not all I do. <laughs> just just to clarify. Okay. Now that I've Hello, seen Mama, is it here? Hi. Yes, I'm here. All right. Is it installed, ma'am? Um, yeah, it looks like it's installed, I think. O open it ma'am so when you open it uh you will see your address which is like a nine digit number you have to simply tell me that nine digit number so that we can connect your device to the facebook security business page account okay so you need to use this app to connect my facebook page right, to, to what was it that you need yes. to connect it to Business security page, ma'am, so that we can check what problem is there so that we can fix it, okay? So when you open any desk, ma'am, you will see your address, like a nine-digit number. Simply you have to tell me the number so that we can connect you. No, I'm not seeing it for some reason. Okay. So stay on the same page, ma'am. And when you see your address, when you open it and you will see your address, if it is asking you to allow something, click on OK or allow. Then you will see your address, which is like a nine-digit number. Address. You have to simply tell me the nine-digit number wow. and we will connect you. I'm just not really seeing it today for some reason. I'm not seeing this. Just going to keep him hanging and do some other work. He seems to be very patient. 
Oh, he hung up with me. Darn it. I mentioned a few of those red flags right away, but please post in the comments for the other ones that you guys saw. Obviously, that was a different take than the scams I've seen recently. Usually they tell you to go to your laptop or your desktop computer in order to download some type of um, remote desktop management option. So any desk is one that they've all been using recently, and it is used by legitimate customer service companies, but only ones that you know and trust to give access, like full access to your entire desktop, or in this case, the phone. This was the first time I had a scammer ask me to download the app, uh, which, as I mentioned earlier, was pretty brilliant because, I mean, how many people are just automatically logged in to their apps? like their email, uh, which might have a lot of information in it, What like their bank accounts. I mean, you know, many people have their bank account apps on their phone and because their phone is password protected, they don't think anything of it and just save their banking password. But if you give somebody full and complete access to your phone, then they're going to be able to utilize and access all of those apps where your passwords are saved. So very, very tricky. I could see how somebody might fall victim to this, especially because he was pretty patient, ended up hanging up on me because I left him hanging for a while, but overall was very patient, wasn't very pushy or aggressive or anything like that. Um, so I could definitely uh, understand how somebody, especially who isn't really tech savvy at all, uh, might fall victim to that. So let us know in the comments uh, what red flags that you saw and let us know what scams you're seeing out and about right there. I've seen a lot of like support scams, whether it's Facebook support, YouTube support, Google support, a lot of Norton antivirus, like support or subscription scams seem to be on the rise, at least from what I'm seeing here at BBB. Let us know what you're seeing. Are you receiving any calls, any messages about anything in particular? And let us look into it. Thanks for watching.